and with your eyes look and try to remember how it should sound. Okay. Deep breath. No, we got it, right? Lift. Good shift finger. I like it. That's what I wanted to say, sorry. It just didn't come here right quick. So, pre-K, do you have to learn by memory things? Yeah, well, we have a, we go to music on Monday and Friday. And, and what do you have to memorize? We don't play any music there. We don't play uh, music. Oh, I'm not asking about music only. You have to memorize some yeah. poems or stories yeah. or some facts, do you? Yeah. So how do you do that? If you have a poem to memorize, how do you do that? Clara, Prababushka Lisa teaches her songs and poems. Paruski, ты как запоминаешь с бабушкой Лизой? So singing or playing by memory means not to look in the book, right? Yeah. Let's see if you can do march like that. You remember how it starts? Okay, your posture. Now, you know how to ride horses. Can you let the horse move before you took a good sitting position? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because what might happen? Fall down. Yes. So the same with the piano. First, you need to sit in a very good position. Take and a right. good posture. And then playing means the horse is moving. Right? Yeah, the horse can move happily while it plays. It's yes. like the piano, the horse, and I... Exactly. You're a rider. Yes? Okay. Like you started playing, your horse moved, but you are not in good position yet. Yes. Now, your hands. Remember, legs, hands, fingers, everything has to be ready. Take a breath. Listen to the end of each sound. Listen to how it ends. It didn't end. And we hear a little break, right? Left hand, our new note. Left hand. Lift. No, I don't hear the end of the sound. Good job. Oh, I didn't hear the end. And the sound. And the sound. Good. And the sound. Take our hands off. Yes? See how interesting, right? 
Yeah. Like riding a horse. Now, you did an excellent job playing by memory, but remember what I said the most times to you while you were playing. What did I say? Uh, yeah. M is the sound. Listen how the sound ends. What does it mean? When we play a note, we hear the beginning of the sound, we hear how it lasts, and then we hear the end of the sound. Right? So when you're playing this much, you need to hear the end of each sound. But when you play like that, you connected them. We played legato, so we couldn't hear the end of the sound. So let's try one more time. And this time, let's try it. We'll use the music so you feel even more comfortable. No, no. I need every single one to be ended. Of course, can move well you're not ready yet right prepare sit find very good posture <gasps> oh this now didn't end beautiful didn't end didn't end listen to the end of each sound it has to be a little silence in between do listen no Remember yeah. when we, we worked with you on Tales of a Musical Journey Book 1? We didn't know how to play legato yet, so we played every note separately. But it's not only for the beginning. When you play harder songs and pieces, you also need to learn how to play non-legato, right? Okay. Do you want to be done with this song? Or you want to still play it? Done with the song. Right. How about crying kitty? Crying kitty, crying. <laughs> of course, crying kitty is crying. What is it crying about? Uh, yeah. What do you think? I, I would love you to color crying kitty. And everything you, you see in this book, everything you play. What about? I thought the chair is blue. Whatever you want. It could be a magical kitty. It could be all different colors. Mm -hmm. And you can even write if it's sunny or rainy, what he has on the left of him or her, what's on the right. You can make the whole picture for this kitty, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. going to make it rainy. Rainy, because kitty is pretty sad. Okay. To go outside and play in the sun. Yes. Okay. So, remember how we played Kitty's meows? We'll go, meow, 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 meow. Okay, and the sound, to, no, wrong finger, it will be uncomfortable. To, no, we need to end, there is no slur, right? So we need to end each note.
about the end. Every sound, listen to the end. Good job. Excellent. Done. I want to do this. Okay. <laughs> Just don't forget when it's non legato, you don't mess, right? Yeah. Next song I'd like you to learn about. Autumn song. Ah, later. Now it's already winter, we passed the autumn, right? Let's play about two little goats. Do you know little goats? What? Well, Did you have you seen little goats? They are so funny. You know, I'll get another iPad and we'll watch a little video of this. date here so we know when we started playing it so you don't have to learn an entire piece because i'll see you on friday we can continue so you can learn only two lines at first but what i'd like you to know i put number two there two, for this two goals. i'd like you to see that there are no slurs again so what your goal will be when you play it no slurs no slurs to listen how each note ends so let's try with you to side three only this first line. Posture before riding a horse, right? No, prepare silently, feel the T first. Now take a breath. What's the finger number three? Continue. Do, do, 
job. Excellent job. See how easy. You want to try next part? Now you can try only one hand first. Loudly and strongly. Now you can try even hands together because they are playing the same notes. Please. This is fermata, this is stop. Retardanda means slow down gradually. Slow down. 